Hi, it's Kathy, the art teacher again. Today I've created a new drawing video to show you how to draw an owl. The tutorial comes from my website, Art Project for Kids, which I hope becomes your favorite place for finding easy step-by-step -step drawing lessons. Over the years, it's helped millions of kids learn how to draw. Please check out my videos, and if you like them, hit that like and subscribe button that's in the corner. It always helps me make more of these. Now here's a very fun and easy way to draw an owl that you can decorate all kinds of different ways. This owl is made from some very simple shapes, like a large U for the body and curved lines for the wings. That leaves all kinds of space to add lots of patterns and color. Let's get started so you can draw your own. The art supplies you need for this project are drawing paper, pencil, black marker, and crayons. If you want, you can also follow this matching tutorial that you can download from my website. Before you begin your drawing, it really helps to first make guides on your paper. Just fold and crease the paper in half in both directions, like I'm doing here, and then open it back up. You'll have lines that match my tutorial, which really do help. Plus, they completely disappear by the time you're done coloring. Step number one. This owl body starts with a large U shape. I like to do it in two steps. First the right side, and then the left side. I think it's an easier way to draw when you really want to make things symmetrical. Now complete the top of that head with a gentle curved line. Step number two, add a little feather ears on each corner of the owl body. Then draw a curve on the right side for the right wing. And a matching curve on the left side for the left wing. Step number three, Draw an upside down triangle for the beak right on the center line. And to separate the head from the belly, draw a curve from the beak to the wing. And then do the same on the left side. Step number four. To draw the eyes, draw a large circle on the right. Make it big, about the size of a golf ball or so. And then draw a circle the same size and place on the left side. Draw smaller circles inside for the black pupils of the eye, and then little circles inside that if you want some shiny spots. Step number five. Now those wings can get some more lines that follow their curvy shape. Try to make the lines on the right and left match each other. Step number six. Now the belly can get some more texture lines too. Add small wavy lines all across from the top to the bottom. Step number seven. Add some claws underneath the body. They can be really simple like this. Step number eight. Afterwards, draw a thick branch behind those claws. And if you add a few leaves here and there, you'll get some extra color. Step number nine. All right, this drawing is done, so it's time to start tracing. Go over all those pencil lines really slowly with a black marker. And when you're done, take a minute or two to erase any extra pencil lines that might still be showing. Okay, to start my coloring, I'm going to fill in those eyes with my black marker so they are really, really black. I'm going to color this owl a little more realistically, so that means most of it will be brown. The ears and wings get that same brown color. I found a nice gold for my owl's belly, but you could certainly use all kinds of different colors here. I'm glad this gold color is kind of see-through, so you can still see all those wavy lines. I'm coloring my beak and claws a bright yellow.
Now the branch I'd like to contrast from the owl, so I'm going to color it black. Press hard to make it really dark, especially if you're drawing a nighttime scene. And I think those leaves need to be a bright green. And finally, color the sky. If you want to add a full moon in the background before you do though, now's your chance. Either way, a darker blue or purple makes a really pretty nighttime drawing. And there you have it, a finished owl drawing. You know those lines on the wings and belly do create lots of closed spaces that could certainly be filled with different colors too. Feel free to get as creative or as realistic as you want. It's your drawing. Okay, that's it for this owl drawing video tutorial. Just so you know, I do have even more drawing tutorials like this one on my website, Arch Projects for Kids, including how to draw an owl face and how to draw a turkey. I'll see you next time and keep on drawing.